Okay, Megan. Um, considering the current health climate, how are you and the customers you work with keeping busy? So start with the customers, how are they keeping busy? Um, well, we have the studio staff um, in during the day in the units and they're keeping the guys really busy with act different activities and things like that. And then things like having dinner outside um, and taking the guys who are self-isolating in their rooms out for walks and things like that. Just kind of trying to make sure they're, they're kept busy and entertained and what kind of activities have, have we been doing um so we've been doing like today they were dancing out in the garden um the studio staff have been recreating a harry potter type village out of recyclable things like bottles milk cartons things like that and planting um things for the garden things like that what kind of activities have you recently been involved in that you've planned uh, we're just about to do a, um, a pottery um, shop up the road has just um, sent us um, pottery animals and things so we'll be doing that tonight with the guys painting them um, and things okay. like that. Fabulous. Uh, what about you personally? How are you keeping busy during this time? Um, just working away as normal and... Um, what about home? When, when you're not working, what kind of things are you trying to Gardening. do to keep busy? Gardening. <laughs> Sewing. <laughs> okay. Um, so for some people with disabilities, particularly learning disabilities, it can, it can be difficult to understand what's happening in the world. How have you tried to keep customers informed? I know you've been involved in that. So. Yes, so um, the other day I um, got um, cards with um, explaining, kind of breaking down um, what coronavirus is and what's going to be happening and why it's happening with symbols and things for the customers that might not have as good an understanding as others that can just watch the news and take that and process that um, and just trying to explain it to them in a way that's not as scary as seeing it on the news and seeing you know how many people have died and things like telling them the positives and um, things like that and getting them involved in washing hands and things in it explaining that the masks and things are there to protect them and us not to scare them and things like that. So Megan, how does your work differ now from, say, what it was like three months ago? Um, I think apart from, obviously, us having to wear the PPE and just being more vigilant with things and taking extra measures and things, I think our practice and things has remained the same. I don't feel inside of work much different. Um, and I think because the, ga the customers, they've coped with it so well and they've handled it so well that it's been... Things have kind of stayed normal within the within the unit, so I don't think inside of work things seem that much different to me personally. Um, okay, and how do you personally feel honestly about the whole situation? Um, I, it's scary, but I'm glad to be at work because it's keeping things normal and it's keeping me busy, and I'm thankful to still have my job and to be able to you know kind of help out here and. Yeah, so I think, think state being at work is keeping things normal for me. It's just obviously a big change, not being able to kind of do what you want when you want. But yeah. Fabulous, thank you.